Has Scott not told you? Uh, no. But I'm just about to. He had a bit of a fallout with Jack. Oh, and he's thrown you out then, yeah? No, not, not really. Uh, it's a long story. So I said he could stay for a couple of days. Well, if that's a problem, then it don't matter, honestly. No, nah, where else are you going to stay? I found him sleeping in the garage. Of course it's not a problem. You stay as long as you want, yeah? Thanks. Cheer up, mate. It'll all blow over. It always does. Why don't you talk to him? I said everything I had to say yesterday. It's done with. Over. Yeah. Oh, Diane, you... will you just leave it? I better get off. Where are you going? Farm. Got a lot of clearing up to do. Thanks to the kings and you know who. I mean it, Diane. It's business as usual. There's no way he's going to destroy this family. What are you doing? Nothing. I hope you weren't going through my pocket. What would I want to do that for? Don't ask me. Only me. Oh, oh good morning. Right, well, I'd better be off. Work calls. I thought you said you had the day off. Oh, well, I, th I thought I'd go to the restaurant. What for? To, uh, to see how things are. Catch you later. Ciao. <laughs> What's wrong? My world's falling apart, Laurel. Oh, don't be so dramatic. What's happened? He's got another woman. <laughs> Would I have a face like this if I was joking? Oh, look, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to have a go. Fancy a drink? Oh, about work, Nicola. Oh, stuff work. This is my life we're talking about. I'll want paying. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that later. I've got a dash. One o'clock sharpish, mate. Don't be late. She'll probably pay you with brass farthings, knowing her. Uh, I give you 20. Oh, sorry. It's not worth it today. You're telling me. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry about that. No worries. I'll see you. Morning. Morning. Are you sure he gave you a 20? Yes, it was just a mistake, that's all. <sighs> if you excuse me, I think it's time for my break. she going through the menopause? Hmm? Oh, don't ask me. You live with her. Well, actually, now you come to mention it, she has been pretty quiet of late. Thank you. Maybe something's worrying you. Well, whatever it is, we should get a grip. Drive me around the bend. Yeah. I don't know why we're even bothering doing this. Come on, son. What's the point? I was Bella Corpin before. I'm never going to get on top now. We'll manage. Dad, I can't even claim on the insurance. Look, son, I said we'll manage. We've had to cope with worse than this in the past and come through it. Much worse. Is it true what Robert said about his mum? Uh, he was just mild enough, lad. Forget it. Say anything to save his neck, chaser that he is. Anyway, there's work to be done. We're just going to have to roll up our sleeves and get on with it. Trust me on this one, eh? You don't need to take on too many machines. Why is that? Because of our overhead, Valerie. We have to keep our costs down, seeing as we are severely strapped for cash. A temporary glitch, Eric. A temporary glitch. Do you know what? I seem to recall Stephanie Stokes uttering those very words just before Trey's descriptions nicked me. Yeah, well, I'm not Stephanie, am I? Having said that, if you don't get out from under my feet, I might just have to kill you. Why don't you go and get some cheap but classy business cards printed? I've already done a layout. It's in the office. OK. And I want my title leaving as it is. Joint partners. No changes, Eric. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Yeah. And when you get back, I'll have a nice surprise. So why's he got Naomi logged on his phone? Well, she could be anyone. She could be a work colleague. Teleport. I'm saying nothing. Anyway, I know everyone he works with. He drones on about him enough. <sighs> I must be jinxed. This is exactly what happened with Carlos. Yeah, but that was Carlos. Simon's not that type, Nicola. They don't have it tattooed on their forehead, you know. Oh, I'm having an affair. And he won't marry me. I know he had to withdraw my offer on that house. He must think I'm a right mug. Looks like you're going to have to have it out with him, then. I think I should get my hair cut. Donna, it's a cooking competition, not a beauty parade. Try telling that to Nigella Lawson, style. Oh, my God, look, I just walked in. How'd it go last night? Good. I enjoyed myself. And did you, you know, 
Oh, I thought he'd have jumped on him. He's gorgeous. I thought you were up in the kitchen. Imagine being with really short hair, but a few wispy bits down the front. Very nice. We wants to him. I'll see you in the kitchen. Don't you think you should go and help him, Donna? Yeah, in a bit. I'm pleased, Diane. I had nothing to do with it all my life. I only wish I could say the same about him. Hiya. Hi. What are you doing here? Ah, oh, I'm on my lunch break. Can you keep a secret? What sort of secret? I've bought a house. You've done what? For, for me and Nicola. Only it's a surprise, so, so you can't tell, I promise. How much did it cost? Ooh, an arm and a leg. But, hey, I can afford it, can't I? <laughs> well, congratulations might be nice. Oh, sorry. Congratulations. Well, let go of us. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> How far down the line are you? Uh, well, we complete in a couple of days. Right. Actually, I've got a meeting with a vendor in a minute to sort out any last-minute details, so, um, i better shoot. <laughs> I'll see you later. And remember... Not a word till it's official. So, good night then. Oh, the best. You know, I don't think I'll ever be able to watch the Oxford and Cambridge boat race again without thinking of her. Too much information, Bob. You sure Viv won't mind? No, of course you It's only night, isn't it? Go on, drink up. And what's he staring at? Don't ask me. Here you go. Listen, I am sorry you had to get involved in all this. I can't believe you can show your face in here. Look, it's done with now. It's over. And the sooner we get back to normal, the sooner everyone will forget about it. Well, I know about these things. Trust me. You don't know much about me, Dad. I'm grateful, and I'm proud of you. Good. Because I'm really not very proud of myself right now. Look, we're having a family lunch round at Matt's. Why don't you join us? Sadie's cooking. Thanks. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces here, lad, that's all. Just remember that. Right, I'm going to have it out with him. Good. Be positive. Oh, maybe I'll just have another drink first. Oh, you're getting yourself into a right state over nothing. Simon loves you. And that's why we're still not married, is it? Yeah, right. Why don't you go home, have a nice hot, soapy bath, you'll feel a lot better. Laurel, take her home. Come on, you. Sorry I'm late. Hey, don't worry about it. Where are the keys? Glue. So you think I'm just being daft? Oh, yes, yes. How many more times? <laughs> it's that woman I saw before. Now try telling me he's not having an affair. <laughs> This looks a little odd. Well, you can say that again. I don't believe this. Hi. Everything all right? No, it isn't. How could you, Simon? I'm with her. Well, uh, Nicola, it, it's so not... Come on, then. How long has it been going on for? And I want the truth, Simon, the whole truth. If you'd let me finish. I'm not having an affair, Nicola. I bought your house. Oh, well, I've heard some excuses in my time, but that one really it's takes the a truth. Piece. I have. I've bought your house. This house. Naomi is the vendor. I should really kill you for this, but instead, of, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Are 
you put salt in this? I think so. <laughs> what do you mean you think? What is that weird taste? <laughs> you haven't put chilli. You haven't put chilli in this, have you? Oh my God, you have! <laughs> it's not funny, Don. I thought you were interested in cooking. Don't shout at me. I'm not shouting. I've got 14 covers out there, five of whom have ordered that mug. Well, I'm sorry it was a mistake. What else am I supposed to do? Oh! Sorry, we're late. Never go shopping with a woman. Right, on your feet, Matthew. You're having me peel veg. And you can stop grinning. How's the shoulder? Painful. Good. Right, what can I do? You can pour me a drink. A large one. Somebody said there was a fire up at Butler's. Yeah. Any damage done? Yeah, enough. Nobody saw Zoe Tate up there, did they? You know, with a blowtorch crawling around in the undergrowth. <laughs> well, anyway. That's me done. Who's for dessert? Mum, sit down, will you? Well, I haven't finished this yet. She's got more on her mind than dessert. Ain't you, Viv? Precisely. And seeing as I don't want any dessert, I'll leave you to it. Would you mind feeding Buffy for me? Where are you going? Get changed. Going out. Not a crime, is it? What's going on? She's got a date. Poor bloke. You can say that again. He's not even met her yet. What? Dating agency. The meeting over at the Woolpack. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get roped into this? Mm. She collared me in the shop. <laughs> Where have I seen these curtains before? Nowhere. Oh, don't pin them up. I want them puddled. Puddled? Yeah, you know, about ten inches of material sitting on the floor. Puddled. Splayed out. It looks more elegant like that. Oh, get them here. Well, don't just stand there. Put the kettle on, sweep the floor, make yourselves useful. I don't have to do everything round here. It's not a school out. Yeah, I just want to give it a one side of a moment, so. Can't be too careful these days, Viv. I'll be fine. It's not her you want to worry about, it's him. Wait here. What's the matter? Everything. Nothing. In fact, don't ask. You and Donna fallen out. Pass. So you have? She, she's really getting on my nerves. It's not that I don't love her. I do, but not in the kitchen. In the kitchen, I want to strangle her. You know, literally. I, I can't work with her. Simple as that. Then tell her. <laughs> yeah, right. I would. Oh, would you? Would you? Or something. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Victoria Sugden. Bing! Yeah. Let's just say you've been very lucky, then. Well, first time in my life, if I have. Somebody must be watching over you. Because you're off the hook. Right. Well, I'll buy a pint to celebrate. Don't get clever with me, lad. Stay away from my family. Got that? I'm Victoria. No matter what way you look at it, Jimmy, you screwed up big time. And because of you, this firm has missed out on an immensely lucrative development. <laughs> well done, Jimmy. But more important than that, my integrity has been compromised. Don't you ever do that to me again, lad. I just did what I thought was right at the time, Dad. That's all. Exactly. You jumped in gung-ho as per usual without ever thinking about the consequences. Well, we'll never get our hands on that field now. Oh, well, it's done now. Oh, this has been a major cock-up. All round. Um... You were the one that instigated that at any cost approach, or have you conveniently forgotten that? Excuse me, but I do not recall sanctioning arson, so button it, lad. Right, that is the end of the conversation. The matter is closed. It's funny how you get all the praise when things go right, Dad, and one of us ends up in the doghouse when they don't. Yeah, usually me. I said the matter is closed. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll take that back. You're proud of yourself. Look, what happened up there wasn't my idea. You still did it, though, didn't you? I wish I'd never got involved. Believe me, so do I. Eve? 
Stop looking over. It makes you look pathetic. Who's the one that's pathetic, Kelly? Not me. Has anyone ever told you you've got Mel Gibson eyes, Al Pacino's nose, and the most amazing Hugh Grant grin? Oh, yeah, frequently, yeah. <laughs> Well, talent certainly improves since I've begun. Who's a muscle man? Oh, that's my date. Hands off. Over here. Nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> I'm Kelly, her stepdaughter. <laughs> right. What you drinking, Darfeed? <laughs> Allow me. Uh, so, uh, are we going to make a hot night of it, you know, uh, go for two in a row? Yeah. Yeah, if you want, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying I'm not good enough? No, no, what? No. No, 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 it's me. It's my fault. I'm just... I'm too grumpy to have you as my commie chef. And most chefs are notorious for being bad-tempered, aren't they? Are they? Of course they are. God, look at Gordon Ramsay. Bet you wouldn't catch his missus working with him, would you? <laughs> the truth is, I need you to, to calm me down. Give me a cuddle at the end of the day. You're my girlfriend. I don't want to be shouting at you. Well, I want my fair share of the limelight when you're a celebrity. Naturally, naturally. Now, why don't you just you clock off and leave the rest of the lunches to me? <laughs> cool. OK. <laughs> oh. Rodney, are you in tonight? Because I thought I might cook. Yeah, I've arranged to meet up with an old buddy in Leeds. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Um, we can I have a chat later? Leslie, anything wrong? Wrong? No, of course not. Come on, you can tell me. <sighs> tell you what? What's bothering you? Uh... Actually, I, uh, I think I know what it is. It's your arm, isn't it? My arm? Yes. It's healed, and you don't know what to do now. <laughs> Am I right? No. No, you're not right. But, well... Well, yes, you are right, but... But, but no. You're, you're not right at... at... Oh, Rodney. I've... Uh, I've got, got myself into such hot water. I'm in such a mess. I don't, I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, I can't wait to get you back to my place, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a very strong grip for a young man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I'm a footy player. Well, yes. You can tackle me any time, big boy. <laughs> she always got to be like that. Because she is a tart. Yeah, well, it takes one another one, doesn't it? So, uh... What time do you finish then, lover boy? Uh, not until uh, 11. Oh. I might go back early, you know, uh, warm the bed up. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight, eh? What? Don't tell me I've worn you out already. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, maybe another time, though, yeah? Well, uh, don't leave it too long, eh? <laughs> You've got my phone number. I certainly have. Your other half seems to be good. enjoying yourself. I'm sorry, X, other half. Quite. <laughs> oh, good, yes. <laughs> Before you ask, Victoria made this, not me. Don't you taste it good? Andy, uh, me and Diane have been talking. We thought we'd like to help you out, so. Dad, I'm not taking any money off you. But don't be daft. You're family, aren't you? Anyway, we can afford it. That round-the-world trip will just have to wait. We only want to help out some. Just say yes, I would. And me. And that makes four of us. So what's it to be? Thanks, Dad. Bottle your finest, please, Bob. We're celebrating. Well, you've certainly cheered up. Yeah. Now, remember, Nicola will promise not to tell anyone until we told me mother first. I thought you'd already told her. Well, not officially. And you know what she's like. Another time. Come with me, you gorgeous lady. Mm. You don't have to ask twice. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother opening it, Bob. Um, oh, and uh, keep the change. <laughs> Come on, you. Where are we going? We're going to kill two birds with one stone. Now get a move on, will you? Bob, Bob, can avoid when am I ever going to find anybody, Marlon? Liv Harvey, you were banging on about Avril this morning. Yeah, but she's just a fling, isn't she? I mean, she's not young and me wrong. I like her. You know, I like her a lot. 
She's not Viv, is she? In name only. Yeah, but she's not the sort of person I'd lay down my life for. You've only known her five minutes. True. What I'm saying, I suppose, is that I want someone who wants me for who I am. I want you. Wrong shape, Marlon. No, 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 I mean, I mean, in the kitchen. I mean, no, no, I need a comic chef. <laughs> no, Donna's quit. Now, I know it's not the best off you're ever going to get, but it could be a laugh. How about it, eh? Thank you. I'm going to have to tell Nicola. Rodney, I've told you this in confidence. Oh, come on, Leslie. This is my daughter. And Simon's my son. Exactly. That's why you've got to say something. And pretty quickly. How can I tell him that I've ruined his future, all his plans? Everything he's worked for, I need more time. <sighs> Look, I've always found in these situations that there's... <laughs> Hiya! Hi! <laughs> oh, something tells me you've already told him. <laughs> How do you mean told him? Uh, about the house. <laughs> oh, that? No. Oh, well, uh, don't get too excited, will you? What? We've bought a house. Isn't it fantastic, Dad? Yeah, that's, it's wonderful news, Princess. Congratulations. And what's with the long face? Oh, oh, no, sorry, I'm just tired. Well, go on then, Rodney. Get some glasses. No, I'll get them. Oh. <laughs> You're going to have to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>